In our last session, we learned about comparison charts. And in today's session, we are going to learn about indicator chart. So in that, uh, we are going to learn primarily on the numeric pointer chart. Okay. So currently it was disabled, right? So what we need to do first, we need to insert a chart here from the more option. So I am selecting chart here. So a chart was inserted. Now uh, immediately we cannot apply any chart pattern here. This uh, numeric pointer pattern we cannot apply. So we need to select a measure first. So selecting measure and from here I am taking quantity. Okay. So when I select quantity, what I am quantity I am getting. So this is the quantity of my total from the model, you know, summation of uh, all the quantity from model because at this point of time there are no filters applied on this story or page or on the widget. Okay. So next, what next? So I'm changing this, uh, you know, indicator from bullet to numeric point. So numeric pointer, like we call it as a tile. Okay. Here in this tile, we will mention show only the number. Okay. Based upon the heading of the uh, tile, we can understand what exactly this means. Currently, you know, 18,948, a big figure. So what I will do, I will apply scaling to make it short. Okay, I'm going to number in the styling number format on scaling. I'm giving it thousand. So and I don't want three decimals. So we can uh, make decimals zero or we can, you know, uh, where is the decimal places here? I can make it two. And you see after 89.95 thousand here it is showing thousand on the top also quantity for actuals in thousand it is showing. So if you want to suppress one of it then what you can do uh, here show scale is there right if you uncheck this button then that will be gone and only number is highlighting here. So these tiles will give you a quick overview of the total quantity you know. Currently there is no filter so I can say total from the model but if you have some applied filters so for the given selection what was the total quantity we can see it here okay. Now on the top on the heading you know if I go to a little bit top here there is a um, in the styling font text selection text text section okay all text is there you see chart title, subtitle, primary, primary value label, secondary, okay. It means currently the value what we are seeing is a primary value, okay. And there will be secondary value also where we can show in this particular tile. So the secondary values you can show bottom, you know, this is the first one, primary one. Secondary come next to this one in a little bit smaller format if you want we can. Okay, so primarily where we use such kind of things, if you want to uh, compare current month quantity with the previous month quantity, then you can show current month here and the difference between current and previous month you can show as a secondary value. Okay, this point we will learn in our next session. So in this section, uh, what we mainly use is, you know, we understand what are all these. All text means everything. For example, if I select chart title and make it bold, you see then what you are understanding this is called chart title when you are learning something newly then you need to understand what are all these headings right so in this way you can easily learn what exactly it is now i am selecting subtitle subtitle is nothing but in thousands this uh, whatever uh, scaling we are using right you see in thousand it will change it to bold if i change it then primary value is nothing but is primary uh, primary is nothing but you know um, you see, this is primary. So same thing. I don't want this time keeping like this. Primary value also referring to the same value, same thing. And primary label. So label here, if I change here. So let me give italic. Then you can understand what exactly it is. You see quantity underscore also. Yeah, this is primary label. Okay, for why I'm showing all this one just to get to know uh, what exactly each one is to implement in the real time okay so similarly what we see now all can be applied for secondary so we will learn the secondary thing next in next session so next going further i already when it is on the title it is showing so i want to increase the title you know uh, si font or size i can say size uh, default is there right i can make it a little bit more 18 uh, 22 yeah i can make it like this a little bit bigger so value is like this and here already quantity is there and bottom again I'm getting quantity. So how can I remove bottom quantity? So one of the option to remove this bottom quantity is um, in the uh, let's go here. It is nothing but primary label, right? So primary label I want to uh, do it this one 
font not font just a second I am going to color in the color opacity. I am making it as zero percent. So doing so, yeah, this is one of the way how we can, you know, um, suppress that uh, term, but making it a little bit simple. Okay, so like this. If you want to increase a font and all, you can increase and then, and if you want to give some coloring to this one based upon the number. Currently, it is showing total quantity, but for example, if you are showing some percentages or variances here, and if you want to apply some coloring to your number based upon the number range, then you can add, you know, this uh, color threshold. Color using color threshold, we can do it. For example, uh, I will let me create one color threshold here number range so where, where i am creating this threshold i am creating this threshold on the measure or i can select quantity let it be like this now number range so for example if it is uh, more than 30 like this and add range you see three ranges are coming and you can add more also you know but uh, at this point of time what we do let's take three only and um, less than 30 let's give yellow color okay then click on and uh, here we need to select measure so on which measure we are applying quantity okay so select quantity here then click on apply button because it is less than 30 it must uh, 18 right so uh, what is the threshold we applied here quantity to see it again just click here edit ranges if it is greater than or equal to 30 yeah yeah okay this is actually in thousands right so i need to mention it is like this 30 thousand okay and here also 30 thousand because i forgot about scaling factor now you see the color got changed because it is less than 30 the color is changed okay so like this you can apply a coloring also to your number type okay i hope it is clear so this is how to create in our next session we will see you know how to add the secondary index also 